In this video, I will be showing you how you can create a wavy arch or a multi-curved in opposite directions. How's that? Circular shaped arch that uh, you can see sometimes. I actually, I was eating lunch the other day with my wife and I came across the... Um, I just kind of looked out and seen a building that had this type of design on it and thought, hey, what the heck, this would make a video. Whether or not it's going to be a super awesome video, that will be up to the viewers. And again, I understand that a lot of this math isn't really what uh, most people are interested in, but that's what we need. We need to be pretty good at math when we are building. So let's just take a look at what we did here. I took a 4x8 sheet of plywood and just divided it up into two foot squares. And you can um, use a variety of different curves and segments. So you could use a one foot, 16 inch, whatever you uh, need for your design. In this one here, we are going to draw our circles. They are two foot circles from the center here and run them across here. And then you can see the pattern, not too difficult. Let's go back. You can see where we are just simply going up and down, around and down. Not too complicated, right? Check it out. Not a lot of math involved. And let's go ahead and cut out our shape. And you can see here, not too difficult to see where we can just simply put these right next to each other and create a flowing shape. Another thing we can do, even though it's not going to work out perfectly, but we can take the bottom section like this if we cut right down the middle. If we are going down the middle, if not, you can actually adjust it. Let's just say that I had a section of my arch here that was, um, here we have three foot and one foot. Let's just go ahead and zoom in here. We have one foot and three foot. We can see here at the top three foot. You might be laying something out to where you have 14 inches and 34 inches, something like that. Hope I did the math on that right. 14 and 34. Yep, that's 48. And uh, you might have a different, but you might come to one where it, when you set it next to each other, it might be off a little bit where you're going to have to cut some off of the top. You might have to take three or four inches off of one side to make it work. But with this here, you can see that this side right here, if we just simply remove this section right here, we're going to be able to take this piece here and then just flip it over. So let's go ahead and remove a section of the template here or our um, shaped plywood. And you can kind of see here where once we flip this over, it's going to line right up with this and provide us with a nice flowing shape. So again, we're going to take this and just simply flip it over and then connect this section to this section. And that would look something like this. So here you can see the piece that we cut the section off here so that it would connect to this. Now, the section that we cut out, which would be this kind of shape right here, can simply go on either end if you need to make this a little bit longer. Now let's go ahead and take a look at something that's going to be a little more complicated. And when I say that, it's not going to be that much more complicated. But I did want to provide you with a place to start here. We have a 12-foot segment that has four three-foot sections in it. And it's going to be one foot wide here. And we're going to just divide this up into a few sections, three more sections. So these are all going to be one foot sections. And of course, we're going to have a center point for a smaller circle and then a center point for a larger circle, something like this. And you can kind of see here. And again, I'm not suggesting everybody can see this, but you will. You'll get it. You can just kind of see where something like this would roll down, up and down not doing this very good, something like that. And at the same time, we could have something that rolls down, up, which you'll see here in a second. I'm going to provide you with a couple of different shapes. So here we basically have a center point and a two foot circle and a center point and a one foot circle. So all we did was went out. This is a foot. This is a foot giving us our two foot circle. 
and then the smaller circle has a one foot diameter. You don't need to use this. You can change this to a six inch diameter. You can change it to a different um, curve, a different uh, shape even to get a different design. You can put a triangle in here if you wanted to, you know, or, or a square if that's what you wanted to. And I'll try and draw some more of those later. If you need more help on that, uh, you don't understand what how it would work, uh, leave a comment in the comment area and I'll try to get to that as soon as possible to, to draw a couple of different shapes. And you can always email me a shape of something that you're trying to figure out if you're having a difficult time with that. So again, one foot sections, one foot, this is a one foot section. I'm sorry, this is a one foot section, one foot section, one foot section. And of course, this um, circle here starts in the center of our three foot measurements, three foot, and then this one here starts in the center of the three foot. So we would have 18 inches, 18 inches, 18 inches for something like this. So here's our arch. Remember, I kind of said we were just flowing around. Go back to this, remove that, and this is what the arch would look like. And again, you could simply connect them together to make them longer by taking this point and bringing it over to here with another um, shaped piece of plywood or OSB. So we're going back to the same thing, except this time we're going to take and make it a different shape. So we see this one here. Let's go to here, kind of come to here, take it here, and then end up with this. Now, I think I can go back. Let's see if I can go back. We got this one here and this one here. And you can see we're just sim simply the opposite of each one. So not that difficult. You know, if I, like I said, if I wanted to make this a triangle, I would simply come from this point and come up to something like this to create a triangle. If I wanted it to be square, I could come up to here and make it uh, um, a square or a rectangular shape either way. And again, you could always have a curve here and a rectangular shape here. But anyway, enough of that. This brings us to the end of the video. If you liked it, if it made sense, if um, it's actually something that you consider to be helpful or enjoyed watching, hit the thumbs up button. Let us know how much you appreciate our videos uh, and any comments that you have that uh, talk about just how awesome this channel is. They are always sincerely appreciated and keep them coming.